So we have your sister scope. Can you get your close enough, Fred? Yeah. You have your sister scope. It has two input channels here. And the way you put a sister scope in is it seems like it's upside down, but it's really not. So this looks right, but actually this is right. So it goes in this way, and it ports below the light board on top. Then we have two polyp catheters. These are these are not pigtails, and they're five French. And then we have an Edelman Foley, which is nice because you can you can pop your a stench right into these little ports right here. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about uh, using a needle. If you don't have an element, you can use a regular foley, but take like a uh, needle and pass the catheters through that. What size are you using? Fourteen angio. You can slide it in here. So that's what we do. So we like to preload. So what we're going to do is you close them. Mm -hmm. See it? Right there. So we're going to preload it. The valves are open. There we go. So we'll preload it so it's all ready to go inside. We'll only use a wire if we have to. We use a glide wire because we don't want to irritate the ureteral opening. And we'll take it, we don't want it to come out here, but we'll take it right to here. That's good right here. We'll back it off. We'll put the other one in this side. Now, you can use different colors. One's a five, one's a four. Um, I think, and then one's a six. So I, I don't want to use a bigger one, so I like to use, I'll use both of these. Now, I'll show you a little thing on the end right here. That's perfect. Now, I'll take these little valves off. If you're going to hook these up to a syringe or something like that, you can leave the valves on, but we're not going to do that. We're going to stick them right inside the outline, boom, like that, all right? So we're ready to go, actually. Now, I like to have my water come in. This port here, so I can control the flow. So I'll bring it in from my left, and this is where you bring it from the left side, so we'll attach it up there. Now, a lot of the urologists don't use suction. Uh, I, don't, I like to do that so I can rinse the bladder, but she's got pretium on board. And since she has pretium, the urine's going to be very orange. The other thing is 95% uh, of the urologists don't use fluoro. I say 5% use fluoro when they put stents in. If you're having a hard time and you can't get the catheter passed, I'll change it to a whistle tip floor French. And if it doesn't go through, then we'll have to use floral and see what the obstruction is. And that's it. Okay, good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put down. The reason I have this towel here is because I don't want to show everybody her vagina. So, you have a towel here. We're going to go right into the urethra. It's already got some lubrication on the end there. All right, and now we already ran it through. You want to run your, your uh, water through so that you don't get air bubbles in there. All right. There it is right there, that's how you squirt it out. So, so um, probably your thing is just do it here because I'm reporting a subject, right? Yep. So just watch this little pass. Mm -hmm. And then now, it's hard sometimes to get it right in the hole, it depends on the angle. How big the hole is that one, right in like a piece of cake. Now, every um, mark is a centimeter, so when you get to two two marks, that's um, 10 centimeters. So that's 10, 15, now, some people go to, they feel it. This gal's pretty tall, but I'm going to go around 20, a little more than 20. That's good because I'm like, I just want the lower pelvis. Okay, so I'll back out a little bit. All right, and now we're going to go to the other side. So we've got enough in there, so we'll go ahead and see the other side. Tilt this like that. There's the other side right there. So we'll take the right one, slide it right in. And if I need to put a wire in, I'll put a wire in. Bingo! Now, if I if I if I have trouble, don't poke it a lot. Put a wire in. This is going up nice and easy. All right. So there's 10, 15, nice and easy. If you feel resistance, that's 20, on 22. Now, the key thing is that you take it out, you pull back a little bit. You got to push in a little bit because then you'll pull them out, right? Once you get outside the bladder, grab them, pull, so you pull them through like this. And now you're done, right? Mm -hmm. And she's going to want to see her urine output, so you put that right in there. You put the catheter in the bladder. Got that? Riley? Mm -hmm. Oops. 
Now, watch this. Watch how easy it is. You take them, pop them right in like so. Boom. That's one. You take the other one, you pop it right in. Could you stop scanning for one second? You take the other one, and you pop it right in like this. And you're in. Okay, so now you have both catheters open. Now you have both catheters in, you're good to go. Thanks, that's good.